a reading of the uh, the New Testament. It's the King James Version translated to the Gullah culture. This is the Gullah Bible. And as usual, we uh, just pick any oh, going all the way to the back. Oof. Hebrews. Hebrews 11. Let's do Hebrews 11. On this size, five. Why not? I'm gonna start off right this time. I use the uh, use my glasses. I'm reading. They supposed to have some sort of new thing where you put eye drops in your in your in your eyes. Nah, uh, I'll I'll stay your uh, ancient school here. Uh, page uh, seven seventy four. He was eleven five. Cause Enoch trust God, and he ain't dead. Said of said of that God took um up with and still even uh, being lived. Nobody ain't shame ain't shimjin, cause God done take him up when Enoch still been ya he. This all for God take him up. God say he happy with Enoch. Okay, five. Here's the translation. Well, that was the translation of the translation of a translation, probably of a translation of an oral history. But this is a, well, anyway, this is the old English, the King James, you know, model kind of English. By faith, Enoch was translated it's translated as the word. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him for before his translation, he had his testimony that he pleased God. That is the word, translate, translated. They use the word translated. I guess that really means transported, but let's... Go back to the, uh, to the uh, Gullah, the, the Gullah of it. Cause Enoch trust God and ain't dead, said Ob that God take him up when he still been a uh, lib. Nobody ain't seen him, seen him, cause God done take him up when Enoch still been ya is this soul. For God take him up. God say he happy with Enoch. Uh, once again, the translation is, uh, uh, this is uh, Hebrews 11.5. We're on page uh, 774 uh, of uh, the, uh, the Gullah Bible. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. For, for before his translation, he had his testimony that he pleased God. So actually, I guess translated in this sense means transported, supposedly. Okay, oh, this is a Sunday. It's a Sunday morning, so I got to just uh, go, go over. Uh, I read from the, uh, from the Gullah Bible. Uh, every every day, every, every morning, around around about six o'clock, around well, it's 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 in on, honor of it's a remembrance of my my grandmother who read the Bible, well not the Gullah Bible, the regular King James version. Some some King James version of the Bible every morning. I, I'm I'm an early riser. So I would just see her. I would come out. And she'd be reading the Bible. You know, she never called me over or nothing like that. She just do it. You know, so I wouldn't say ignore me, but basically. <laughs> ignore me. I guess she was into a thing, and um, and I read the Bible a couple a couple of times. One time, can I say one time I was reading? I just this is this was the second time I read the whole I read the whole book. Right, I was I was in the I was in the New Testament someplace, right? <laughs> and I would visit my grandmother every Sunday. It was a very interesting ritual because we would go and uh, I get there around nine o'clock, and they would have the Sunday mass uh, on TV because at this particular one she was wheelchair bound and she 
wasn't getting out. Anyway, so she watched the Sunday Mass. We watched it. We talk, you know, and she, and she always was cooking. I mean, even in a wheelchair, she cooking, right? And, uh, and so, uh, uh so it, it was, that was about nine o'clock. Then I remember about, about one o'clock in the afternoon, uh, on Sundays would come a program called Like It Is with Gil Noble. Uh, it was produced by uh, Alambe Breath, for those people who need to know. In fact, his first producer was this guy named Doc, who was the uh, sound guy for um, Negro Ensemble Company when it first started. And um, Doc, he, 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 I'll, I'll tell you, it's not out of school, but he, he's a drug addict. You know, that's how he, that's how he died. But uh, he would, he would. Um, I was a kid. I was like seventeen years old, running a light board for, for Daddy Goodness. He was running sound uh, for the, one of the productions that they were on some did. Anyway, um, so he protected me a lot from from all kinds kinds of things. But he was a great guy. I'm sorry, I go off. Anyway, so so it was a political program, highly political, and very. And and when Alambe started really producing, it was like more uh, Pan African, uh, ist, uh, uh, like that. Anyway, um. Uh, so it was quite interesting. I'm going like, my grandmother's listening to like, watch it like it is. She went into it. I'm going like, whoa, this is interesting. <laughs> Cause by that time I'm like super radical. <laughs> you know? I, was like, I, was about, I guess it was about, uh, no, it was after I came out of college. I mean, I was in my twenties now, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, so, so that's part of it. But this, this um, but I do this because I have this thing where I want to get into the, the mindset or the mind frame of a newly freed uh, slave. And if they would want to ha learn how to read, what would they be reading? Would they be reading the Bible? And of course, you know, the Gullah people, you know, they, they talk a certain way. So they created their own, well, at some particular point, they created their own Bible. It's changed me already. I mean, my mind is, is, is thinking differently. Every, I actually do it every day. Uh, but also, I had this thing, a couple of, about three, whenever um, uh, The Five Bloods came out, you know, Spike Lee's movie, The Five Bloods came out, I started to write my the the t h t h e as uh as as the d a like in the Bronx because that's where I come from the Bronx right like that and because of uh, uh, Delroy Lindo's um uh, character was so powerful it was an incredible performance you know talk about talk about Samuel L. Jackson not getting the award you know for Pulp, Pulp Fiction you know what I mean for his character in Pulp Fiction well. To me, Delroy Lindo, his character in Five Blood should have got acknowledged. Let's, let's put it that way. Anyway, so I've been doing that for almost like two years, I guess, just writing instead of the, writing the, D-A. But since reading this, uh, I've been writing this on a lot of comments and stuff like that. And somebody wrote a comment. Um, I, I did some wrote something about James Small. He, said he would he basically he was saying that James wouldn't wouldn't, wouldn't appreciate or wouldn't, wouldn't uh, uh, I was embarrassing James by using the instead of Duh, right? So I wrote him back say, well, James like me is is Gullah. He has he has Geechee <laughs> he has Geechee lineage, you know what I mean? And I know James. I know him since the eighties. So I just wrote so I started saying, but he would say D because of the Gullah thing. So then I changed it. So now instead of the I use D because of the Gullah Bible. Again, I'm embracing my Gullah 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 heritage. So I thought I'd let you all know that I being me, T, from the Patterson's taking the trains to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.